Lesson 7.2b, Writing Two-Step Inequalities. We can write two-step inequalities to represent real-world problems by translating the words of the problems into numbers, variables, and operations. The word per is a clue word to multiply. Each is a clue word to divide. Within four days means zero to four days, as in less than or equal to four. It has to be no more than four. We use the words in the problem to help us write an inequality. And remember, equations will have an equal sign. 2a plus 3 is equal to 11. Inequalities have a less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than equal to sign. 2a plus 3 is greater than or equal to 11. We need to understand when we would write an equation or when we would write an inequality. Here would be an equation. Tala has twin sisters and a three-year-old brother. Their combined ages total 11 years. She has two sisters of some age plus a three-year-old brother, and all together it totals 11. So we know it is equal to 11. This would be an equation. For an inequality, Tala has twin sisters and a three-year-old brother. Their combined ages is not more than 11 years. That means if it's not more than, it must be less or equal to, because it's just not more than 11. We would have 2a plus 3 is less than or equal to 11. So this side of the inequality is not more than 11. This would be for writing an equation. Bob spent $85 for three shirts and a pair of $25 pants. How much did each shirt cost? We would do three times the shirt plus the $25 for the pants, and we know he spent $85, so it's equal to 85. This would be an inequality. Bob spent at least $85 for three shirts and a pair of $25 pants. How much did each shirt cost? So this side of the inequality could be greater than $85 because that's the least amount he spent. It could be greater than that. He spent $85 or more than $85. If we see a variable is less than or equal to 25, that means the value of x, the variable, is either 25 or no more than 25 as 25 or less. 25 is the maximum value for x. It can't be any more than that because x is less than that. If we see a variable is greater than or equal to 25, well, this means the value of x is either 25 or no less than 25 as 25 or greater. 25 is the minimum value for x. To help you picture our next word problem, we're going to do a real quick little geography lesson. You can see this is the east coast of the United States. Here's Florida, here's Canada, New York is right here. This red line right here is the Appalachian Trail. It's a footpath across the Appalachian Mountain ridge lines from Georgia to Maine. It goes from the north part of the state of Georgia all the way up into the state of Maine. And the entire trail is about 2,200 miles. That would be 3,500 kilometers. And it goes through 14 states in the United States. We're going to be talking about this section right here just for a little part of the trail in North Carolina. And the trail is actually quite beautiful. It goes along the top, the ridge line of the Appalachian Mountains, and there's some areas that are more flat. You can see how pretty it would be to walk or hike that trail. Dave and Sam are hiking part of the Appalachian Trail, which runs through the state of North Carolina. After 15 miles, they camp for the night. They want to reach the 95 and 5 tenths mile end of the North Carolina portion of the trail within seven days. Write an inequality to find the average number of miles per day 
they must hike to reach their objective. Their objective is to do it within seven days. So the average number of miles will be our variable. We're going to let m equal the miles per day, the average number of miles per day. The important information is their starting miles is at 15 because that's where they're camped for the night. The target miles is 95 and 5 tenths. And the number of days times the miles hiked is going to be the number of days is 7. And the miles hiked is going to be m. So within 7 days makes this an inequality. They have to do it sometime within 7 days. They could do it in 6. They could do it in 5. But they need to do it before 7 days is over. So that's the maximum that it could be. We use the words in the problem to tie the information together and write an inequality. The starting miles is 15, because that's where they camped, plus the number of days, 7, that they want to complete the rest of the journey in, the hike, and that's going to be multiplied by the miles hiked per day, m, and it can be greater or equal to the target miles of 95 and 5 tenths. Our inequality is 15 plus 7 for the 7 days, m for the miles per day, is greater than or equal to 95 and 5 tenths. This left side of the inequality must be 95 and 5 tenths or more. The right side, that's the minimum miles they need to hike in all. That's why the small part of the inequality symbol is facing the 95.5, because that's the minimum. This must be 95 and 5 tenths or more, so the large open side of the inequality symbol is facing the left side. We can actually solve and check this inequality. We have 15 plus 7m is greater than or equal to 95 and 5 tenths. We can see 15 is our constant. We can get rid of this positive 15 from each side of the inequality so that we can slowly isolate this m to one side. We do minus 15 minus 15. That creates a zero pair, and it's gone. It's eliminated. And on this side, we get 80 and 5 tenths. Now. Because our coefficient is a 7, we divide both sides by 7. 7 over 7, that's the same numerator and denominator, so that makes 1m. So we have 1m here, but we don't need to write that one, do we? On this side, we do 80 and 5 tenths divided by 7. That comes out to 11 and 5 tenths. That tells us the miles hiked each day must be 11 and 5 tenths or greater to hike 95 and 5 tenths miles in that seven days. So it needs to be or greater than that amount in order for them to reach this 95 and 5 tenths within that seven day period. Now, we can check this. We can check to see if 11 and 5 tenths makes sense. We substitute 11 and 5 tenths for m into the inequality and 7 times 11 and 5 tenths is 80 and 5 tenths. When we add the 15 to it, we get 95 and 5 tenths. And yes, it's equal to 95 and 5 tenths. It has to be greater or equal to, so that's true. We finished the second part. We're going to go on to the last part of 7.2, and we're going to be writing a verbal description of a two-step inequality. If you'd like to know more about the Appalachian Trail and the 14 states that it goes through, I'm going to have a link to a Kids Britannica website in the description of this video that you can just click on to see it. Have a great day, and please join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye!